Right, uh, so Pastor Stoicho and Netko, thank you very much for uh, joining me tonight uh, with this uh, interview or Zoom meeting, whatever you like. And uh, thank you again for um, this opportunity. We really appreciate that we could hear from you directly um, how has been uh, COVID affecting you and in generally how you're doing. Yes, I can tell them how we are acting during this crisis. Както знаете, от месец март нещата се влушиха. Yes, you know, from uh, starting from March on, the the crisis uh, deepened. И въпреки че нямаше забрана църк да провеждат богослужение, and although technically there was not a ban for churches to meet in person uh, for worship, ние решихме че от uh, месец март до края на май we decided to online. Starting from March to the end of May, to stop our in-person in -person meetings in the church, and we started them exclusively, airing them online. This was very difficult time because this was the first time ever in our life such things to happen. No, беше и възможност. Защото се оказа, че много повече хора, отколкото идваха на църква, гледаха тези богослужения. But at the same time, it was a good opportunity for attendance in a way that much more people who couldn't uh, or didn't visit our uh, normal regular meetings, now they uh, were able to watch online our worship services. Много мои невярващи приятели, са ми приятели и във Фейсбук, защото там излъчахме, гледаха тези служби и това беше много добре за тях. Някои от тях за първи път се виждаха как се провежда една служба в Евангелската църква. Quite a few of my non-Christian friends, actually, uh, they also joined these online worship services and for the first time they were able to experience what uh, uh, is going on during the worship and to hear the gospel for, uh, during this channel, uh, by this channel, so through this channel. От края на май, когато вече не беше извънредно положение, когато беше отменено, имаме присъствени богослужения в църква. And uh, from the end of May, when this uh, special situation was uh, disclaimed, then we were able again to meet in person in the church. Uh, do you key, um, do you kept the online streaming as well? Да, продължавате ли онлайн стриминг? Да, продължаваме. Хората продължават да гледат. Yes, uh, indeed, we continue with our online streaming and the people continue uh, to uh, uh, watch this uh, streaming. Тъй като сега има ограничения в броя на хората, които могат да бъдат в едно затворено пространство, помещение. Even more so, because now there is a limit for participants who are able to get together in person. При нас е 30% от капацитета на пространството. In Bulgaria, 30% from the capacity of the room, of the space. Only 30% will be occupied by people. So uh, it's not uh, technically it's not possible for every member or every friend to come over here to join to join us in person. И може би до около 30% от хората, които преди кризата и пандемията. And now maybe just around that figure around 30% of the uh, membership that uh, uh, were able to uh, come before this crisis are still here on our Sunday services. Has the, chair, the church been uh, able at all to involve in any kind of activities helping the community in Plovdiv? 
начин да бъде ангажирана със социална дейност, да помага на, на хората в поле. Да, 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 разбира се. И то най-вече на хора, които са в самата църква или близки до църквата. Аз. Yes, I can say yes, but mostly for the people who are part of the church or close the people that are close to them in, so, in, one, in one way or another. Има, има хора, които са самотни и възрастни. Because те we have quite a few people that are single and uh, I mean lonely and elderly now in their old age and they needed our uh, care. И ние организирахме And we organized buying some products for them. И носихме за тях. And we бяха блокирани в момента. And we were bringing these products for them so that they can eat because they were, uh, as I may say, blocked in their apartments with no possibility to go out and to provide for themselves. Това ставаше, разбира се, с хора, които не са от църквата, но сме помагали. И това ставаше възможност. Um, in in which ways you have experienced God's grace in during this during this lockdown and during obviously this unprecedented situation as a church and and on a personal level? На какъв начин преживяхте тази необикновена ситуация, тази критична ситуация и като църква и на лично ниво? Аз Веднага, когато започна кризата, си спомних думите на Соломон, че има време за всичко по Слънце. Immediately after this crisis uh, set in, I was reminded of the words of uh, King Solomon, who says that there is a time for everything. Явно това време, което идваше, не беше време толкова за радост, а беше време за помагане. Беше време за усилване на нашата вяра. Обясно, this time uh, that uh, we were about to experience was not a time of uh, jubilant joy, but a time for testing when uh, our faith uh, needed to grow. Доколкото се отнася до хората от църквата, as far as uh, the people from the church are concerned, някои от тях преживяха дълъг период на страх. Some of those experience a long period of fear. И наше задължение беше и мое задължение да разговарям с тях и да ги насъщавам. And give them В лично отношение видяхме много нови възможности за споделяне на вярата. На personal level we could see uh, much more possibilities for personal uh, sharing of our faith. Аз приоткрих някои съседи там, където живея. I rediscovered some of my neighbors mm-hmm. and the place where I live. И това беше възможност да споделя вярата си и вярата си, което имам въпреки uh, тежкото положение в което си. And this was opportunity to share my faith uh, in spite of the hard times we were going through. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Um, just briefly tell us uh, what's the situation now in, in Plovdiv and in Bulgaria. В страната от около един месец се влушава много обстановката. Ако преди един месец имаше по 10-15 души на ден на цялата страна, които са заразени, Uh, the numbers uh, they reported were around 10-15 persons per day infected. Now, at this moment and from, uh, since one week, uh, 
the, they are around 1,000 persons per day. And even more, uh, the last two days, it's uh, 1,300. This situation uh, affects in many difficult way the hospitals because many medical persons are also get uh, are also infected. There are still places, beds in these hospitals, but uh, we experience some lack of enough uh, personnel like the doctors, nurses, and uh, general helpers, paramedics. From our Lekari. church, also we have two, two infected persons. One is a medical doctor and one his wife is a nurse. Uh, they are at home and uh, we don't kind of medium uh, symptoms, not uh, really so, such, so severe. Така че преко църквата църквата е засегнала. So they that means probably they have started to introduce again restrictions I guess. Sorry? I presume they have started again to uh, reintroduce some restrictions. Yes. Yes, starting tomorrow, wearing masks is not only obligation, a duty in the enclosed buildings or premises, close, but also outside on the streets, also in public spaces. Starting from tomorrow, in the Аз имам опасение, че ще има проблеми рестрикции по отношение на затворение на помещение, което може би ще засекне и църквата. I have some uh, fear that uh, maybe for, if the situation goes like this, a further restriction, restrictions could be implied that could affect our church as well. Но благодарим на Бога за интернет. Благодарим на Бога за интернет. But we are very thankful to God right now for the worldwide web for the internet yes to yes. use the technologies yes uh in just a few words then personally how you experience that uh what sort of challenges pre uh, represented to you and also how can we pray for you here at ashley baptist <laughs> Засегнаме до толкова, доколкото имам притеснение за близките си. Да, on personal level, it affected me in such a way that I am thinking about my family, the church, the people for their safety. So this is a little big concern for me. И продължавам да си задам въпроса. Как в днешно време можем да изпълним за ръката на Божието Слово? Не спирайте да се събирате заедно. And I continue to ask myself the question about the admonishment of the God's Word that says don't cease to get together. Yes. In Hebrew, I think. Да, благодаря. Така че това са въпроси, които ми вълнуват. Молим се, молим се да ни се подпарят църките, за да можем да се събираме. So that kind of questions are really are on the back of my mind and we are praying that the churches will remain open and not to be closed physically. И първата тема за молитва може да бъде за тези самотни хора, има няколко души в църквата, които нямат и интернет. The first topic for prayer would be about those lonely elderly people. There are few persons from our church who are not 
uh, able to get uh, internet or not, not working with internet at all. And they cannot follow the online streaming of our worship services. Of course, I maintain continuous uh, uh, link with them, relation by phone calls. Но на всички тях много им липсва общението в църква. But uh, all of them, they are li- really missing the uh, fellowship in the church. So this will be the first topic for prayer. Yep. Втората тема е за тези, които са болни. Second, let's, uh, тези два uh, let's uh, say I already mentioned about those, uh, these two persons and all the people who are uh, ill in some way or another. Yeah. All these people need our prayers so that they can uh, rehabilitate sooner with not uh, uh, serious symptoms to recover well. And one more need for prayer, especially for uh, young folks in the church. They spent a very difficult summer because all the meeting, youth meetings, camps, uh, summer camps, uh, children and uh, youth camps were cancelled because of this crisis. And my prayer and also uh, my plea to you for your prayers is, is that no one of them, of them will be lost for the faith. They have their own communication uh, through internet, but not always that's enough. And they really miss this uh, uh, relationship between themselves and between me as a pastor and themselves also. So this is really difficult. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Stoichu and Thank you. Uh, Thank you. We just want to give us our best uh, uh, love and, and everyone from, from Plovdiv. And it's really um, sa- sad that we couldn't uh, organize uh, this year or we'll see next year any, any visits <laughs> to you yes. to Plovdiv or visits Plovdiv. From, from Plovdiv to here. Uh, but let's, let's hope and, and pray that that will be possible. Um, we just um, uh, want to God's all blessing to you. We, we, we send an all the love to, to everyone in Plovdiv. Okay, and, and thank you very much. Thank you again that uh, we, could, we could manage that, uh, that meeting together. Many thank thanks. You. Thank you very much. Special greetings to brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. And send our love to, and the love from our congregation to every person at uh, Ashley Baptist family. To all our friends. Yes, thank you so much.